I want to quickly share with you the best tax software you can you can actually consider this year. So here's a review I want you to pay attention to. Number eight, you have a Free Tax USA. Our score, eight point three over ten. So when you think about Free Tax USA, I want you to think about the best free federal tax prep website. And uh, so what we love about this uh, platform is that it offers a clean, professional user interface. And uh, the navigation system is very understandable. Now, the federal is free, though, but you have to pay for the state return. So they charge about 14 to 20 to uh, 19.99 for state uh, for state return. And uh, the, what we love about Free Tax USA is that its uh, help system and associated tools are unexpectedly uh, pretty good for a free product, in our view. And uh, the platform now offers a paid option to connect directly with a tax professional. So this is kind of cool. And uh, it's mobile apps are really, really excellent. So Free Tax USA is great for the, for self-employed. Also for those who have a, a pretty simple uh, tax return. So this is kind of cool. So it's a great choice for gig workers who don't have a lot of income and uh, expenses to report, but must file a Schedule C. It's also really great for uh, more complex returns. If you are on, or let's say you are on, on a budget and uh, you want to have like a, a great platform when it comes to usability, Free Tax USA is really great for you also. And uh, we love the fact that it has a thorough coverage of tax, uh, of tax topics and also has a, a great selection of guidance options. So long story short, Free Tax USA is fantastic. What are the pros and cons here? I want to first talk to you about the pros. You have free federal e-filing, inexpensive state filing. You have a tool that supports all major forms and schedules. You have numerous help options. You have excellent mobile website and affordable professional tax support system also. Fantastic. What about the cons here? You can't import 1099s. The user interface, the, the UI can be a, a little improved. Right now, it's not really, really that uh, where, it should, where it should be at. And uh, the help pages obscure the Q&A pages. So some, this is something that they need to work on. But in terms of the specs, when you think about free tax, you when you think about free tax USA, think about a tool that helps you import competitors' returns. You have all major IRS forms and schedules. You have a comprehensive navigational outline, a chat help. You also have phone support for tax topics, hyperlink help with interview, co- contest sensitive help. Fantastic, boss. Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Number seven, you have Liberty Tax, our score 8.5 over 10. So when you think about Liberty Tax, I want you to think about a tool that's great for Liberty Tax clients. So if you are already a client of uh, theirs, you will you will love this tool because it is actually a competent online uh, tax preparation service from the well-known brick and mortar tax preparer. So Liberty Tax is kind of similar to our H&R Block in that Liberty Tax has uh, a selection, a network, if you will, uh, of brick and mortar tax locations. The only thing is Liberty Tax has about 2,000 locations, whereas uh, H&R Block, they have about 12 to 14,000 locations. So you can see that comparatively, Liberty Tax is, uh, is uh, I think, smaller than H&R Block, but they have the same business model. And the thing is that what we love about Liberty Tax is that when you actually uh, go through the platform, pages will load fast and uh, the UI is simple and clean. The site offers a very good uh, review tool and its mobile apps make it possible to complete a simple review on a smartphone. So this is just fantastic. So like Jackson, Jackson Hewitt, Liberty Tax might, might really appeal to taxpayers who have used it before and don't want to deal with learning a new website. It might also be a good choice for current in-person clients of Liberty Tax who want to save some money by trying to do their taxes on their own. It's more expensive than Jackson Hewitt though. And uh, it lacks the state of the uh, state of art UI offered by TurboTax and others. It also lacks the guidance that users with a lot of income, credit, and deductions might need. Really, let's talk about the pros and cons here. So the pros: pages will load quickly. The t- the tool covers self employment topics. You have a good review process. And you have excellent mobile access. Fantastic. What about the cons? Well, substandard user experience. In our view, the UX needs to be improved really you have a weak health content you have little context sensitive health and some atypical navigation uh, process here in terms of specs when we talk about uh, liberty tax you, you have a tool that imports competitors returns all major irs forms and schedules are allowed comprehensive navigational outline chat help is there phone support for tax topics hyperlink te- help in interview great you have context sensitive health 
searchable help database and mobile access. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about the best tax software this year. Number six, we have Cash App Taxes, our score. 8.8 over 10. So when you think about Cash App, Cash App Taxes, I want you to think about the best free tax software in our view. Basically, the thing is that if your tax situation is very simple, and I, and I mean very, 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 very simple, say you have one W-2 and a few deductions, Cash App Taxes is the best tax software to meet your needs. And uh, the, the software is unique in the tax software landscape because it offers completely free tax filing, no matter how complicated your return. Most of the big pr- players provide a free version for simple returns, but charge for self-employed tax returns. So, but even though it's free, you need to download the app to use the program. And Cash App provides limited support services. There's only one email support uh, service for users, and no option if you like to speak with speak with some someone. So, actually, it's a great choice, a great free choice for simple tax returns. But we do not recommend it for people with more complicated taxes unless they feel confident filing uh, their own returns so basically by the way cash app taxes used to be called credit karma credit karma tax so they, they got bought over by cash app so they have rebranded it so cash app taxes software works best if you have a very simple return i'm talking about a couple of deductions here and there right so like let's say a student loan interest for instance and you have a w2 and you are seeking online tax software that's completely free and will not hit you with surprise fees it's also quick and very easy to use. What are the pros and cons here? The pros first, let's talk about the pros. It is completely free for everyone. I just want to insist on that. It is free for everyone. And uh, the second thing is that you need to understand that Cash App Taxes does not provide phone support though. So it, it, it's actually great if you like to do things DIY. That's totally fine. This can be an advantage because you do not want to be bothered by uh, like uh, sort of reaching out to uh, customer service. No, you do things on your own. And the cons here are that you must download Cash App to file your taxes. That's number one. And if you have multiple state tax returns, you can file with Cash App taxes because it supports tax filing for only one state. So you are only allowed in one state when it comes to Cash App taxes. So number... Five, we have Jackson Hewitt, our score. 8.9 over 10. So when you think about Jackson Hewitt, I want you to think about a tool that's great for uh, in-person tax preparation. And uh, Jackson Hewitt is kind of similar to uh, H&R Block and Liberty Tax. Jackson Hewitt is some, some a little bit in the middle between uh, H&R Block, which is at the top, and um, Liberty Tax, which is at the bottom. So Jackson Hewitt, they have about 55 to six, 5,500 to 6,000 locations. And uh, 3,000 of which are located in Walmart stores. And uh, so you can trust the company's financial expertise and expensive coverage of tax topics in its DIY online tax prep product. And its price is actually reasonable. So you have like 25 to 30 bucks for both federal and state. And Jackson Hewitt professionals are always ready to take over if you find that you can't complete your return yourself. Okay. So who is it really for? Well, we, re- we, actually, we actually recommend uh, Jackson Hewitt. For taxpayers who have used the product before and like it, or those who are more comfortable patronizing a company with a recognizable brand. And Jackson Hewitt is also for anyone who wants a no-frills tax tax prep experience with backup assistance if needed. And its online help tools are not really strong enough to support someone who needs a lot of hand-holding along the way. You know, however, one thing I want to say here is that it's one of those things where you have to be really, you got to ask yourself. What level of help do I need? Okay. And then if you need, let's say you will need a, a certain level of uh, granularity, then you want to go for the competitor, the competitors because uh, Jackson Hewitt doesn't have that. What are the pros and cons here? The pros first, you have low price. You have comprehensive uh, coverage of tax topics, good error checking, and you have effective mobile versions. What about the cons here? Well, you can't import a prior year's return from a competitor. You have context-sensitive, searchable help lacking in both amount and quality. User experience not on par with competitors and some navigation quirks along the way, in our view anyway. I want to talk to you quickly about the, the, the specs. Well, uh, when it comes to uh, Jackson Hewitt, 
you you can import competitor competitors returns in uh like to a certain level all major irs forms and schedules are, are pretty present you have comprehensive navigational outline chat help is there phone support for tax topics hyperlinked help in, in uh, interview you have a searchable help database and you also have mobile access so this is kind of cool boss i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we are having a conversation about uh, the best tax software for this year Number four, you have a Tax Act Hour Score, 9.2 over 10. So when you think about Tax Act, I want you to think about uh, another DIY personal tax prep solution that's been around for decades, actually. And it really excels at simplicity. Its user interface and navigation system help users through uh, the complexities of the IRS task code. And its final review is one of the best we've seen. Like h and Block and TurboTax, you really dig deep. It really digs deep, asking questions about your finances that help it find Find all the, the uh, deductions and credits that you should get. And uh, so who is it really for? Well, though Tax Act is capable of preparing complicated tax returns, Tax Act is best used by taxpayers with simpler financial scenarios. It does a great job for W-2 employees who want to atomize to minimize their tax liability and, do, and who don't necessarily need the targeted support that TurboTax and h and Block offer. It also provides a detailed workthrough of Schedule C. So what are the pros and cons of uh, Tax Act here? You have great user experience, logical organization of tax topics. You, you have a tool that digs for income and deductions. You have uh, context sensitive help and you have free professional help through uh, expert assist. What about the cons here? Well, you have many help uh, links lead to IRS documents, so they don't have content. They don't have uh, organic content. Search results not always targeted and expensive per sit filing. What are the specs here when it comes to a tax ad? Well, you have a tool that imports uh, competitors' returns. You have all major IRS forms and schedules, comprehensive navigation outline, chat help, phone support for, for tax topics. You have hyperlinked uh, help in the interview. This is really good. We love that a lot. You have a context-sensitive uh, help, searchable help database, and you have mobile access. It's one of those things where when it comes to tax ad, you, you, you have a... Uh, you, you like you have to really have a certain level of DIY. You have to and you have to also rely on them. So it has to be a hybrid sort of approach if you want to really uh, enjoy your experience with uh, tax. The respected household names in terms of personal tax preparation in the U.S. It's uh, G- DIY tax prep lives up to that reputation. By the way, so H and Block's numerous products and services feature user friendly interfaces, extensive topic coverage, and content sensitive help. And the company excels at explaining uh, tax issues in ways users can easily understand. So for those reasons, it, it really is one of our best, in our view, our best tax so- software here. So h and Block's family of tax preparation websites offers offers uh, something for almost everyone, from its free version for very simple returns to its top-tier sites designed to tackle the intricacies of Schedule C for self-employment, which we we actually uh, you know we actually are reviewing on another in another video. What and H uh, and Block's help resources are excellent and always contextual, which can be a, a benefit to both novice taxpayers and longtime filers. So this is kind of cool. Let's quickly go through the pros and cons of this tool, so we have a clear idea what's really happening here. The pros first: you have excellent user experience with clear navigation. You have context-sensitive help. You have a thorough, understandable explanations that are given on on various tax topics. You have great mobile apps. This is kind of cool. And you have optional fee-based expert help. So you have the option here. So if, if you need help and you really feel like uh, H&R Block can really help you, go ahead. What about the cons? Well, sometimes the tool is slow to load and uh, there are some excessive clicking required. So this is one of those things where H&R Block has to work on uh, their uh, their uh, user journey to sort of limit the number of clicks. What about the specs here? So when it comes to H&R Block, you have a tool that imports competitors' returns all major IRS forms and schedules. This is kind of cool. And you have a comprehensive navigation outline. And But h and Block, while it's not as, as smooth as TurboTax, the features are really, really great because here you have a well-designed interview style system that helps users sidestep potential mistakes and help screens and uh, FAQs are comprehensive. Though, though it's not, they're not easy, but they're comprehensive. We love that. And you also have the h and Block's online assist 
which provides virtual text assistance from a professional online, including a screen sharing to show exactly where you are stuck. Number two, you have TurboTax Deluxe, our score. 9.5 over 10. So TurboTax Deluxe is actually, in our view, uh, the best tax software for ease of use. And it's, it's really uh, easy to use the online tax software because its simple interface lets you easily navigate the tax return and enter all the necessary information. So this is kind of cool. You can also import your tax documents directly into the platform. And as you prepare your tax return, TurboTax Deluxe will offers uh, many helpful tools, such as explainer videos, questionnaires to help you identify tax deductions and credits and explanations for why you might owe taxes. And uh, so we found this very useful for someone who feels mostly confident filing their taxes, but wants some reassurance they are doing it right. Okay. So the, the navigation menu, uh, the navigation menus direct you to specific task categories, such as income, deduction, and credits. And the more, more importantly, TurboTax provides a, a list of items required to complete your tax return accurately. So this is kind of cool. So what, are, what about the pros and cons of this tool here? The pros, the simple, easy to use interface helps you quickly navigate to specific task forms and situations. And the TurboTax Deluxe offers many helpful tools such as easy guiding and explain why. So they allow you to identify additional tax deductions and credits and provide you a, a brief explanation with uh, of why you may owe taxes. You may, you can actually upload your W-2 enabling TurboTax uh, to fill out key fields on your return automatically. So this is kind of cool. It, it, it also provides uh, alternative secure ways to log into your account without using a password. What are the cons here? Well, TurboTax tries to upsell you more than competitors do. It can be uh, more expensive than the competition in uh, a lot of cases. So it's one of those things where they have to really work on it. But overall, it's a great app. And that's one of those things where you have to understand that, you know, it, it's uh you have to always see what works for you by the way i forgot to add one thing in terms of the cons the advice for from my community members may not be accurate at times so be aware of that number one the best of the best in our view tax layer our score 9.8 over 10. TaxLayer is, uh, for all intents and purposes, and for our point of view, I mean, based on our point of view, basically uh, best for budget-conscious tax filers, okay? And TaxLayer started as a tool for accountants and professional tax preparers more than 50 years ago, and it's been the online DIY tax prep business since the, the 1990s, and the site provides walkthroughs of common form 1040-related topics and a searchable database of help files improved for the current tax year, as well as guidance sprinkled throughout. So who is it really for? Well, taxpayers' price is lower than that of uh, all, all of its competitors at the self-employed level, where we actually uh, where we actually focused a lot in our review, aside from from the free cash app taxes and the free tax USA, and tax layer supports preparation and filing of complicated financial profiles. So its target market is individuals and very small businesses whose returns require a Schedule C, and who want help finding all of the deductions and credits they can claim so what are the pros and cons here so the pros it is affordable it is really fast you have a clean interface with intuitive navigation you have a tool that supports all major IRS forms and schedules you have new data entry options so, so this is kind of cool what about the cons here well little context sensitive help on the Q&A pages the quantity and quality of help content could improve and uh, search results are not very targeted. You know, it's one of those things where they have to really just work on them. And it, they also have too much reliance on IRS instructions and publications. So they, they got to really diver diversify a little bit. Their, uh, I would say their, their, their sources. Okay. And also I, what we love also is that tax layer is kind of cool in terms of uh, customer service. I mean, their customer service is outstanding. Like when you really, uh, Compare and contrast that with uh, competitors. Tax layer is really really cool, especially especially if you have taxpayer premium. Okay, and this is a service that provides multiple ways to contact customer support for tax filing assistance, including uh, phone, chat, email, and professional tax assistance. 
And while TurboTax has scored, has scored very high in uh, in this category, for instance, we think uh, Tax Player is better because it offers free prof prof free professional tax assistance. So this is kind of cool. Now, let me quickly give you an overview before we close to this conversation. So how does tax software really work? The thing is that, uh, so while tax software may differ depending on the software provider, you can expect most tax software to work in similar fashion. Typically, you enter your, your income from uh, tax documents, such as your, your W-2, 1099-K or 1099-INT. int. You also enter deductions you may be entitled to, such as mortgage or student loan interest, business expenses or contributions to a health savings account. So depending on the tax software you choose, you may be asked a series of questions, much like what you will be asked. You will be asked if you were to hire a tax professional, and in some cases, you may need to enter your uh, information directly onto a tax form, and you may need more tax knowledge to ensure you enter the information correctly. And uh, so, after going through the tax software and navigation tools, you will know whether you owe taxes or can expect a refund. And the cool thing is, you can choose to uh, enter your banking details to pay taxes or receive a direct deposit to your bank account. Okay. Finally, you can opt to uh, file electronically or choose to file a paper a paper tax return. So this is kind of cool. You know, this is really really cool. Now, there are pros and cons when it comes to tax preparation software. Let's quickly go through the pros and cons. That, that first of all, the pros. You have easy navigation tools, interview questionnaires. You can directly import W two and uh, 1099 forms. You also have uh, an overall review of tax forms and calculations. So the granularity is, is, is definitely there. And what about the cons here? Well, limited tax professional assistance. It, this may require some work and tax knowledge to use. So if you are like a completely rookie when it comes to taxes, you might actually struggle a little bit. Okay. And so, but if you want to choose an online tax software provider, you got to pay attention to a few things. Pay attention to ease of use, okay? User experience. Does the product have easy navigation menus to identify where to input tax filing forms? Is there a Q&A interview style to ask the right questions to guide you through the tax forms required to complete the, your return? Are there are multiple support options like phone, email, live chat, and expert tax assistance to help you through the process? Is it possible to take a test drive before paying for the product? You also need to pay attention to the cost and fees, the technical and tax assistance, and the customer support options, and uh, so on and so forth. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let me quickly do a recap here. So in today's conversation, I spoke to you about the best tax software on the market right now. And uh, basically, let's quickly do a Number five we have here, 8.9. Number, uh, number six, you have uh, 8.8. Number seven, you have a Liberty Tax 8.5. Number eight, you have a Free Tax USA. You have uh, this 8.3 over 10. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.